Parker's. Go ahead and park it downstairs. All right, can do. Yep. I'll go ahead and park the uh, the busted one downstairs. Oh, the hood just flew off. I'm gonna close this door on the side. Hopefully. Park it, it'll just fix everything. Or, if it doesn't, it'll just become somebody else's problem. Uh, somebody radio PD and ask if uh, the suspect that I have in uh, X-ray right now has been searched. Okay, I'm on it. Uh, they're here. Okay, somebody just asked to him. Ask him about it. it. Uh, make sure we have our lights off. Storm is in the building right now. Try to keep our lights off as much as possible. Oh my god, I was fucking parking it. It's the same uh, goddamn button. Negative, Reggie has not been searched. Ten four, thank you. It took a little bit to memorize in the beginning, but it's not that bad. All right, got that one there parked away and all right. You, you got a spider on your foot, Dale. You got to jump. Eight. There it is. All right. all right. Yep, and just like that, we're we're going back to eight. I like this job. Feels like uh, a lot more of the action in there. Yep. That's that's why I'm uh, I'm a paramedic, not a doctor. Go get some gas. Echo 05, Echo 63, gonna be back. 10 8 on patrol. Was that ambulance giving you trouble when you were parking it? Uh, I tell you what, I went to go park it and the damn lights flickered on and then they I had to turn them off before I could park the damn thing. Yeah. Usually that happens. Alright, let's go that, get some gas. Uh, like, felt like every door was open and I couldn't get it closed. Yeah, it was. Uh, I think the hinges may have been over lubricated or something. Yeah, so about right here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some damn gas. But I'm not gonna 10 7 because, like I said, we got majority tank of gas. So if we need to respond to an emergency, I could just stop and get right in there. Live for almost five hours already. Look at us go. And, re and repairs for this thing shouldn't be so uh, expensive because uh, unless you're taking it up north, slamming it around off road, that's a it's a little bit you know a little bit different. But it doesn't take the elbow to the, the window there earlier. No, oh, well you know we can see if we can't repair it. What up, General? Hey, real fast, I gotta gas it up. Welcome aboard. Ten four. Thank you. Oh wait, I gotta be out of the thing. Yeah. I won't. It's okay. We're getting it squared away. Echo six. Since you're aboard, uh, I'm gonna we're gonna ten seven real fast for repairs. The windows on this one's busted. Sure thing. Uh, yeah. I'll be at the ready. Right on. There should be a bus in front of pillbox. Excellent. <gasps> All right. Good as new. Well, almost. Yeah, I got this thing. Uh, as far as uh, upgrading goes, I got the best engine, best transmission. I got fucking turbo in it. We're going. Yeah, you have to pay them to upgrade your your own ambulance. Uh, yeah, pretty much. But it's for everybody to use. So, like, when I park it at Pillbox, anybody can pull it out who's a paramedic. Because it just makes sense for them to use it. I ain't using it personally. You know? Gotcha, gotcha. It's a state job, so it's pretty much state property. But all good. 
Thanks, you find out was badass, man. Let's go see if Mosley's is open. You got any questions about the job? Uh, no. So far, I think I'm kind of, kind of getting it, and just kind of wait for the problems to come to us. Mhm. Mm That's pretty much the, the the gist of it. I'm not even gonna lie. We're up, Cipher. Uh, depending on the day, usually there's plenty of downtime. You know. What, what do you normally do to kill time in between? Oh, I mingle. I mean, I've been here for almost a year now. It's uh, a lot of people know who I am. There's a lot of crazy shit that does happen too. So, all right, let's see if they're inside. Oh, hey, look who it is. That's the director of Pillbox, Sebastian. Ah. Sebastian, what's going on? Hello, Zeb. How are you? Hey. Good. This is uh, Mr. Dale. Dale Davenport. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, Mr. Davenport. Pleasure to meet you, too. I'm Sebastian Kensington. Honor. All right. All right. Are you here for repairs or just uh, to have a conversation? Yeah, a window got busted out, so we're going to go ahead and get that squared away. Nice. Okay. If you yep. want to drive it through. Yeah. I wanted to make sure it was nice and clear first. I don't want you all staying out of the way here. Yeah. I'm going to go close my window. It's cold in here. All right, doctor now. Nope, paramedic. EMS. I just haul people to and from the hospital. Oh, it's just $100, please. Oh, perfect. Here you go. We'll take two. Thank you. Yep, bills got stuck together. I can't get them apart. Not even going to fight with it. All right, perfect. Boom. Let me just open another window. Yeah, I mean, you've pretty much seen everything except for except for Burns now. Yeah, damn hell of a first day, I say that much. Yeah, I mean, shit, it picked up fast. You patch people up at the fights. That's Like I said, that's the kind of stuff you're going to be doing most of. Like, you remember that person that the, the local got a hold of him, but it just clipped him? Yeah, yeah. Didn't have any broken bones, just a little bit. You told him to keep it, a cold pack on it. That's most of what you're going to find. Um, gunshot wounds second, and then occasionally Burns. Gentleman that did get... You know, I guess blasted by the store clerk or whatever. Uh, they got him scared away. Dang fella who flew out of the front of his car. Yep, uh, that too. Yeah, you'll find some of that. What is a sprint, sir? What are you talking about? Sprinkled in here and there. So how are you feeling about the first day? Hello, first day. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I wanted to help people, and it looks like this is the right place to be doing that. So, hell yeah. Next, we'll go over uh, like your codes when you're out and about. They're pretty intuitive. You're gonna hear them a lot, and I'll even touch on some that you don't hear too much. But if you're the only paramedic on duty, like I said, if you're listening, uh, you know, to PD, if there's no doctor or anybody else on pillbox radio, uh, you'll hear some more, and it's just. That way you know what's going on and you know where you need to be. I mean, you already know what 10 4 10 2 is, right? All right, right. All that. 4 10 2, you got uh, 10 19. Yep. 76 is on route, but usually I just say on route so people get the gist of it. 10 7, got that one then. Yep. 10 8. There's that too. You're just on on duty. It means you can you can work. Oh, when you when you get on duty, you're forty. You're forty one. You said I'm ten. Hey Reggie, uh, Gertie's asking some questions about a surgery. And then uh, if you if you go off duty, you're forty two uh, for the day. I'm gonna scrub out and then. Has, um, been given scrub out and then I'll get to him. Uh, he's Echo sixty three. Perfect.
I'm sorry, I should have made it clear. I think we have spoke briefly. I'm the director of Pillbox. I'm just moonlighting as a mechanic this afternoon. So, um, you're ready to go, Zeb. As soon oh, as you're, perfect. As soon as you want. Yep. Yeah. All right. Hey, Please appreciate it. Oh, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. I'm going to break the window out again. Another one you'll you'll hear, but not often. Uh, here, we're going back out this way. Just because sometimes that door in front of us uh, it won't open unless you tap it. And I ain't going to I ain't gonna bother with it, you know? Yeah, gotcha, I gotcha. uh, Another one you hear occasionally is uh, 23 means on scene. But since we don't really do that, uh, we stage, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you probably never say that. Um, again, your codes for your lots. The only ones you need to know is code one, which is normal. Code two, which is just your, your lots. And code three is lots and sirens. Code four means everything's fine. Sprint, uh, everything sir? I'd rather go for a helicopter unit. Clear, everything's good to go. Like that person that got hurt. You know, I said it was a code green, uh, and then when we were done, I was like code four on that person injured, person in distress, whatever it was. Uh, should... Oh wait, well, which one did you code green for? Uh, the woman that got she got clipped by the local over there by the apartments, right. and we just kind of put a cold pack on her. Right, that counts as an evacuation. Oh no, in pillbox, the code green is uh, is everything's good to go, everything can be treated on scene. Well, son of a gun, I might, might have got a bad uh, pamphlet over there. I don't know. Oh, probably. But you don't even have to relay that, to be honest. You can just say code four on that, uh, you know, whatever the call was. Like, person down, person in distress. It's all good. Makes sense. As long as they know that no one's coming back to pillbox, you're fine. Uh, trying to think. That's generally the only ones you hear. 10 7, 10 8. I'm 41 on duty, 42 off duty. Pretty intuitive. I think next time you're on duty, uh, shit, get some driving in. Yeah, I'm excited to be driving, helping people out. Yep. Most people just shadow, but uh, that's, uh,. Nah, there ain't no way to learn watching people it's all hands on I can tell you what to do when you'll do it you know what I mean yeah, yeah that's the only difference I wish I would have had when I was being trained is someone telling me hey do this go grab a, a backboard all that you're already doing it so that, that garage look a little weird to you back there yeah uh, that yes it does like a what is that the deposit oh yeah that's the that's the Union Depository, I think. I think. Hey, let's drive through Mirror Park. Have we been through? I don't think we've been through Mirror Park yet. Not uh, for a no. while. My family ain't never had the money to go hang out up there. I didn't go up there much before neither. Yep. Ironically, it's uh, it's kind of kind of a ghost town nowadays. Back back uh, about eight months ago, it was popping. I'm not going to lie. There was a lot going on there. Yeah, PB boys are all moving uh, out there. Pretty quiet. My daughter lives there, V. I adopted uh, Veronica Vioto. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've always just given her advice and stuff like that and helped her out when she needed and she said she ain't never had anybody like that so i was like you know what that's fine she asked me to adopt her one day i was like you know what fuck it let's do it oh yeah she does she lives in mirror park but you know it's uh not many people really go to the premises anymore but uh what are all the spots around town now that are, are bumping? Where do people hang out at? Yeah. Oh, hell, south side. Uh, it's Ben Burger Shop when it's open. Um, I mean, there's a tavern up in Mirror Park. Really nice. Have you been in a tavern? Uh, not, not probably not since they. Yeah, probably not since they renovated it. Shit, you've been here before, and it's been years. Uh, really nice. Um, let's see what else we got. PDM's always a hot spot. 
People buying cars, trading cars, selling cars, all that. The arcade just reopened its doors after a while. They got trading cards now. Dragon's Rest, Casa Latina. Glad the arcade's up. Most of those are really, really good food spots. I didn't say that on comms, I just... I'm gonna go around this person. Is it just me or did our thing gas burn out pretty quick? Maybe I'm not looking at the same meter as you. Oh, uh, you're probably just glancing at it from the side. You, you won't be able to see it like me. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, down here it's, uh... It is, it's pretty quiet. And this is where you would come to do evil. The only thing about Mirror Park that's bad is that, like, there's one way in and one way out, which could be good if you were on a dirt bike. I guess there's two ways in. But even still, you're on a dirt bike, you do some shit, and then you just leave up the mountains, you're gone. People used to party here all the time at the little island over there. A damn good party spot, looking like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was fun. I took my Challenger, so I, I don't know. You haven't seen my Challenger. I left it at the arena. Uh, it's a lifted Dodge Challenger, and uh, I I can almost wade that entire fucking lake right over there <laughs> with that thing. I could drive for <laughs> that shit almost. God damn. With enough, with enough speed, I know I could. But yeah, there's the tavern. Looking kind of closed. Damn. How long has that been? Has that always been there? The restaurant called Horny's? Are we the only EMS on duty? There were like 40 things out there earlier. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Let me check the GPS real fast. Oh, no. Everyone's just... Oh, yeah, that's right. There's doctors at pillbox. Yeah, we're the only one on patrol. It'll be like that sometimes. I would rather have two in one bus, you know, than have two buses out. Oh my god! We can handle situations faster and better. I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel tired. I think it's because I'm. Casino Joey Vic. I used to co-own that casino with him. Of course he did. Not as lucrative of a business as you think. I figured people would have been dumping money in their big gambling and all that. Oh yeah, uh, but they did. It's just uh, it's self-sufficient. A lot of businesses around town are still paid by the government. They're like government uh, stipend, if you will. But that one, not so much. Um, that's as most businesses. RP's not, no, I used to RP for like 14 hours a day in the most intense bubba shit ever. I think it's specifically because I've been spending most of the day learning. I've also been eating in a fucking insane not an insane, but so whenever you pick up a patient, you're heading back to pillbox. When you get everything ready, get yourself buckled in, start driving, get your lights and sirens on. When you radio back, you definitely want there's a couple things you want to radio back. And I'll sort of just, you know, touch on this. You want to radio back their condition, first and foremost. Uh patient is critical, patient is conscious, all of that. Even if they're critical and conscious, radio that in. And then you want to radio what happened and any overlying uh, hey, Rezzy, uh, injuries the that they could have. Like the patient that we just Rezzy, handled with the glass in him from the, from the motor vehicle accident. You know, we say, uh, you could say code yellow, but really you say the patient is conscious. The patient has been in an MVA, motor vehicle accident, ejected from the vehicle, still has glass on a backboard and with a neck brace, and they'll understand. And that from that point on, it's just easy. Just keeps them in the know-how. Can I ask if them doctors are around and all that? Yep. Do we have any uh, doctors available to process this patient or take care of this patient or treat this patient? Uh, if not, Dr. Nurse Joy is an incredible doctor. They can heal literally anything. Modern medical science is crazy. On that, we just, we just hand the patient $500 and have them do it themselves, kind of. 250. Yeah. 250, Nurse Joy. Yeah. Uh oh. I'm gonna, come, I'm gonna go around this. Yeah, usually when there's an active police scene like that, you kind of want to just give them a wide berth or girt, whatever it's called. You give them wide space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not crowding too much. Mm hmm. 
Because you never know. Like, one of them people could just take off. And they don't want to slam into the back of your ambulance. One, they're going to fuck their whole car up and their whole life up because this thing's a brick. But two, then you got to get your ambulance repaired. I did not name Nurse Joy. Nurse Joy was created, developed. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the rundown. Spawned um, in as an idea and happened entirely without me. I was not involved are easy in that at all. To remember, if I'm being honest. It's a job where you could go through the whole thing and not know your 10 codes and still know what the hell people are saying. Kind of cruise on by. Mm -hmm. What about you? You have any questions? No, no, I think I just. I don't know. I'll, I think I'll have more questions when I kind of done it more, you know? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Echo 05, Echo 63, gonna be all route to that. Four. Go to Burger Shot. Why don't I see that pop up on my. Are you on duty? Uh, yeah, I think so. Like, I, I, I got it in the corner, but then when I pulled up on the list. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now you got it. You should have it now. You want to go to, to Corporal Mendoza? Is that we're yep. just going to Burger Shot? Yeah, uh, it's going to take you to Burger Shot anyway. I don't know. It done disappeared on me. Uh, don't know yet. We're gonna have some stage first, and then they'll let us know. It's okay. Uh, it was radioed in the Desat Burger shot, so we're hauling ass. Nah, I just wonder if you have biggest sure I got the thing figured out. I don't know why it ain't pulling up for me no more. It's all good. Hey, what up, Dara? This thing gets to haul an ass through the city now. We're going to hit 100. There it is. I'm going to slow down on this drop-off. I'm not trying to catch too much air. Yeah, that can be nasty. Where are they going? Come we're on around. stage right here. Just in case. Oh, we're, clear. we're clear to move in. We're fucking nice. going. Time to clear my schedule. Hey, what up, fam? I'm going to have to back it up. I'm going to leave it in the middle of the road right here. Because we're going to have to run... Oh, fuck. Damn, hey, go around. The locked. There we go. What happened? Hi. Hey, three, three gunshot right wounds to the head, no exit oh, wounds. She needs to be taken to that. Shot her. Oh, she, all right. They all took right, everything right. from go grab her and they shot her. Oh, my God. Let me out. Gotta grab a dang board. Okay, board, sea caller. Grab those for now. I don't know if they may have sea called already. Hey, we gotta go. We gotta go stat. Radio when we got, got a crew condition three gunshot wounds to the head. Oh, uh, yeah, this is Echo 63. We got a critical condition three gunshot wounds to the head on this police officer we're coming in with. 10 4. Straight into, straight into OR1, please and thank you. 10-4. I will be <clears> assisting. <throat> yes, Esme, I need you for this. To set it up. How Mendoza? I have heard good right, things about go. Mendoza. I got them packed, they're ready to go. We're hauling ass. Oh. In a case like an emergency, you didn't need me to go grab no board on that one? No, no. There was no motor vehicle accident or anything like that. This person, uh, they told us exactly what happened. They came in, shot Mendoza. Uh, I went ahead and packed ones, wrapped them really quickly, and we got Mendoza in here. Stack. You can't lose Mendoza's. Mendoza's one of the finest. Yeah, in character, Dale has not heard shit about Mendoza. Out of character, in like TSRP Discord and shit, I've heard very good things about Mendoza. So, but like Dale can't, you know, react obviously be approaching now. react on that. You got her. Yeah, I'm gonna get her on strap. And go brief the doctor real quick. You got a. She got three gunshot wounds to the head, no exits on that. We packed him up. I am also the 
lost and ready to go. I was on duty, right? Yeah. Oh. Right into brain surgery. Here it is, y'all. Do your best. Yep, good luck out there. There it is. The job really spikes. It feels like it's either on yes, or it it's either on or it's off. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep. That's uh. That's been, <laughs> I, I don't want to say qualms. That's just been uh the the case in the past with a lot of uh, what people have mentioned is uh it's definitely something that spikes. Definitely something that spikes. Yeah, we just be hanging out and all this stuff. I like this. I really do like this. Zero five echo six three going back ten eight on patrol. This is kind of like what we do. You were literally just chilling, and then bam, got a fucking call. Three gunshot wounds to the That's dome. That's why if you post up somewhere and you just chilling, chatting with people and shit like that, it's all good, you know. Uh, yeah, wait for trouble come to us, kind of. Yep. If you got busy work to do and shit like that, it's, it's perfect. But real estate, I always have busy work. You get off earlier to talk about you'd be flying a helicopter for the dang for, for a place. Oh yeah, so I I actually got my pilot's license about eight months ago. I had to go through civilian flight school, and uh, unfortunately, I don't think the individual that teaches it more is in the city anymore. Uh, but I had to learn how to land a plane to fly a helicopter. I had to fly through fog. I had to learn what vectors are, uh, holding patterns, all that shit. Uh, communicate with a control tower. We don't have one. Uh, but I learned how to do all that. And I've been flying civilian flights for a while now. Uh, I would give like tours and stuff like that. Except for when I was mayor. Because uh, I parked my chopper on top of the casino. And when I became mayor, I just didn't think Is it was there right. there a um, patient being transported at the moment? Uh, that's going to be a negative on our part. Okay, 10 Just making sure. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to that, I, I just kind of stopped working at the casino because I had so many jobs. I wanted to give Mayor my full force, right? All right, right. Uh, so I left it up there for about seven months. Think about yeah, it. I'm, I'm, I'm a certified pilot. Like, and I, can, <clears throat> I can already do all that. I think if I stuck it out here and kept doing it, it'd be kind of cool to learn to fly a helicopter, go get people off the mountains and stuff. They get we stuck. We always something. need more. We always need more. So yeah, please do that. Once yeah. you become paramedic, I think you're clear to learn how to fly. And I, it's not that hard to become paramedic. I was teaching people as an EMT. Less interested in sprint and a lot more interested you know in being able I mean? to take out a so chopper. They just promoted me to paramedic. And then I, the issue was I couldn't really schedule a good time for for taking the classes because I mean they were they were either you were on Rowan's time or no time. So it was like damn, I couldn't ever catch him because I was busy doing other stuff. Uh, there wasn't like a set schedule for classes. So, yep. But since I've already, I've, as a civilian, I've flown Angel 1 twice for them when they didn't have a pilot. So I already know how to fly the damn chopper. All right, gotcha, gotcha. Had to yeah. go pick up some officers from the, uh, from the airport one time. There was a pretty bad shootout. Uh, what was deemed a terrorist attack at the, at the time, I had to go pick up a couple of them and life flight them back in uh, as a civilian. Good Lord. Yep. So yeah, it's definitely worth it. Oh shit, we also have water rescue too. We got dinghies. What in the sense? I guess. I mean, it makes sense. Ocean City, yep. all that. Yeah, get you some scuba gear. You ever scuba dived? Never in my life. Oh hell, it's awesome. I there's I do it in my off time. You gotta watch out for sharks. Uh, I ain't never been attacked by them, but uh, you know, you always want to take a knife with you just in case. But yeah, there's like shit. There's sunken treasure and shit like that down below. Hold on, we got an officer coming this way. 
Chaos is cool, but as long as it doesn't go for three hours straight. Look, man, you're talking to Bubba who lived through ten hours straight of chaos, more or less. With maybe like an hour break somewhere amongst the day. But yeah, uh, it's awesome. We do water rescues, all that stuff. Hey, uh, we need like some sirens off. Uh, we're not at pillbox right now, so... I think that person was on the wrong radio. Maybe a damn cop came over the wrong one. It's possible. There's, I think, uh, 10 emergency that, frequencies. Uh, 1 through 10 are encrypted. And she's, uh, light oh. sensitive. And I didn't know if that was you guys or not. Uh, it's gonna be a negative. We're still on patrol. Roger. 10 4. I think I've yeah. heard. Maybe uh, four it's different. Like that. That's pretty much the ebb and flow. I've heard maybe four different times today. Scuba certified. We could do that shit. Uh, you want to get Angel One certified? Go for it. If you want to get boat certified, go for it. Driving a boat's real easy though. And then dinghies uh, is fast as hell. Get get my feet under me a little bit more. I might be start trying to do stuff like that. Yeah. Hold on. There's a car coming. I don't know. I don't want to get in the way. Oh, hell. Let's, let's go ahead and... Why is this not showing up here? Right that. And four. Is he claiming it before me? Like, why is this not popping up for me? It's local in the car. We're going to make sure they're okay. It says Dragon's Rest, so we lucked out. But one of these times, I'm not going to luck out. They're at Dragon's Rest, so we're going to go ahead and take an easier path. Because I know the landmarks. I don't got to mark it. Or are these not 3-1-1s? No, they are 3 one I guess three one ones. Okay, okay, it wouldn't we matter take care anyway. Of unconscious would... locals as well. Yeah. Sorry, I'm still trying to figure out the dang iPad and why it's not giving me everything that pops up up there. Uh, because sometimes they uh, it takes a minute. Yeah, three one one doesn't give locations, but that's not my issue. My issue is that it literally didn't show up here until right now. Until this right here, it didn't show up when I looked for it. Oh, there it is. It did just take some time. There it is. But as long as I got that, then we're good. As long as I know that and that's how it works, then we're fine. How do y'all deal with the dang more. locals around here? Uh, you can sort of, um, you can sort of just look at them alternatively and you'll see. Oh, damn. Is that the one? Hold on, let's get in the medium real fast. Oh, it says it's in vehicle. Y'all ones made a dang call over there? Yeah, so the cars went over there now. It was right here, like next to your. Oh, yeah, it just moves. It just moves. Found it. A local nearby. The local was in here. Like, they were just in there. And now. You think the angels came and got them? Either that, they maybe they got out when we weren't looking. Maybe. But, maybe they but, just fell asleep behind a wheel and they took off when they realized it was being an asshole. Oh no, so they got they got, they got, they got hit. Sure, but I don't know. Maybe maybe they stumbled out. Maybe local EMS found them. It's possible. But, I mean, yeah, they were in point, there for sure. Yeah, at this point, since they're taken care of, I would uh, I would see if Toe can't get it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go call out. All right. All right. Catch y'all, guys. Appreciate it. Give me code four on see that local call. All right, we're good to go. Hey, what up, Flack? How you doing? Yeah, sometimes the angels make it to us two people before we do, so. Did a uh, third eye how we take care of locals we run or something like that? Yeah, if you, yeah, if you just uh, look at look at them alternatively, you'll be able to pull them out of the car, and then you just sort of uh, call locally a mess to come pick them up. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that's not a bad spot just to wait it out up there in that parking lot near Dragon's Rest. <clears throat> so you got Tequila Laws right here. That's a little bar joint. You got the arcade right here. The PP Boys Arcade. Oh, the billboard's still up there. That's nice. Oh, but it switched. What the fuck? Do you see that? 
of course, Burger Shot's getting back up and running too, so. Yeah, poor damn Burger Shot. I got someone shot at the liquor store next to him, and then a cop got domed in the damn building. They're having a rough start. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, trust me, there's a reason I, I run that motherfucker with an iron fist. Dale. People come in there, they start talking shit to me, I get the fuck out of my store. You ever think about, like, I don't know, maybe like hiring on security or something, just to hang out and keep the peace or something? Uh, it, it ain't gonna keep the peace. Not in this city. Keep, keep the peace or, it, or maybe bring the violence, I don't know. Nah, hell no. The way I see it, if somebody's gonna take one of my employees hostage or some shit, they better fucking pay me a cut. Otherwise, I'm going to force her ass to make burgers for three hours in the back. We're going to make that <laughs> money somehow, Dale. I promise you. Yeah, we're getting it back. Yeah, we're getting it back. <laughs> you going to take up my employees' time, cut into their paycheck? Not today, motherfucker. Get back there and craft, craft some quater pounders for me. Zeb actually does know enough people in town where he could basically find anybody and Trust force me. them to do this. I'll find them. Yeah. I'll put them to work. If the cops don't get them, I will. Dale doesn't know that. Obviously, I know that. But, like, that's fucking hilarious. There's a reason I was mayor, goddammit. But, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. I need Dale to get a little bit more comfortable. I might keep tweaking his accent yeah, a little bit more. I need to call more. and check on Lily real fast. Hold on. Get ready, Kaylee. You're getting a phone call. Oh, fuck. When's the last time I called Lily? Oh, there it is. Four months ago. <laughs> How often does mayor change? We've had three mayors. The server's been up for a year. Over a year, we've had three mayors. And the third one just got put in. We're still figuring it out. All right, she's not answering. She's probably processing all of it. It was a lot. Lily yeah. used to be the commissioner. Said she the one running the dang burger shop, right? She had a hell of a day. Yeah. Yeah, she used to be the commissioner. So seeing uh, one of her old troopers go through that, is, it must be rough on her, you know? What, what the, the fuck? Did you see that? Right yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go around. You I really know, messed I don't, with the voodoo. I, much. I, don't, I don't trust it. Yeah, that's, I don't like that shit. Mm -mm. Oh, what the hell? Look behind us. What in the... No, I ain't, I ain't even playing with it. It's a weird light reflection, refraction paint or some shit. I'm not doing that. Damn, ghost real. I don't know. Living in Los Santos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen some shit. Somebody said it was a goddamn alien delivering pizzas. I ain't never seen... I ain't never seen the motherfucker. That's yeah. Dan's other character. Is. Aliens, ghost. Maybe this city's not, not quite what I remember it being. I, I was young, though. I don't know. Maybe too young to know. It's possible. Let's go visit Mirror Park one more time. We don't ever really patrol up north only because we don't, we never really had the units to do so before. Might be different as we get more and more people hired on. That's why we only operate at a pillbox. We are state healthcare, so we could open Sandy Clinic. It's just, we didn't really have the population for it or the numbers for it. God, well, I want the population to patrol in the city. Keep growing in this server. First of all, it wasn't Mayor Balvin, so it was Mayor I need to explain Appleseed. the scenario to you real fast. Uh, what do you got? And it's going to be something that we reiterate a couple times. When you uh, when you arrive to a scene in your stage or something like that, or you hear shots fired like we did, there's a bunch of officers down that pop up on that uh, the HUD right there on the HUD display on the dashboard. And uh, you never get cleared to go in, and you're still just staged. Zero zero one is going to be ten seven for a break after all those series. Right. Ten four. Take your break. You need to uh, you need to make a judgment call, Dale, on when to go in. I had a scenario like that right over here, actually. I was staged just right here, and up by the tavern. Yeah, I was staged about right here at this crosswalk, and up by the tavern there was a shootout, and uh, you know after about. A minute of silence there was never a call for us to come in so i had to make the judgment call to go in and uh there was nobody there thankfully uh but there was a bunch of officers that had been shot 
in scenarios like that you need to make the judgment call and if by chance anybody is there maybe the opposing side of the law just let them know hey i'm not i'm not gonna bother you i need to i just need to start taking care of people i need to start parting people to pillbox you know and if yeah. that's the case if you're not the only one on duty you call for call for an additional bus if it's bad so usually i usually give it a minute officers are trained to cling to life if uh if it ain't too grave you know would you so, like i just like you pull up and there's like uh, four or six people down or whatever and you call for yeah. another bus do you load your people up and go and say the other bus is coming or do you do you wait for that oh, other yeah. bus you coming know, you always prioritize officers um, and what you would do is you want to get anyone that's not crit you want to assess the situation get the critical ones back to the pillbox if no one's critical and everyone's stable and conscious and talking to you you wait for the other bus but you being the only medical professional on scene stay on scene until you can get a an additional you know what i mean all right because uh, you got to make sure that if anybody does turn critical you can handle it um the alternative too if there's no doctors on duty and uh you're the only one carting them go ahead and uh let them know that local ems whether or not they're conscious let them know that local ems can come and pick them up and take them to the pill box that way you're not running back and forth because you can only fit two patients in the back of the same ambulance unfortunately no damn yeah so that's what it is yeah uh You'll zeb killed it man into that once in your life and most people don't really train for that scenario, but that's one you need to be aware of. But Zeb was the first, like, mayor mayor. Because, like, Balvin was mayor out of necessity. Anybody, uh, you know, holding a Draco or some shit, just tell him, hey, I'm, I'm just here. I'm just here to cart him off. I'm not here to, to, you know, confront anyone. All of that. Keeping people alive. Gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Anyway, yeah. Like, Balvin was mayor out of necessity, and, like, he was obviously doing stuff That's on the back end as a developer. So. But he was mayor because, like, we just needed owners in position of power, right? So, same reason I was Bubba, more or less. Um, except I was a little bit more involved with Bubba and the police force. Um, but Zeb was the first mayor mayor. Yeah, ap technically Johnny Appleseed's still governor now. Um, Zeb yeah, was the first, like, much run down mayor on mayor. Scenario. And he did a great you job. See it, but you might see it. And now uh, he stepped out and Vic took over, and Vic's about to kill it. Most I'm of the time, sure. our PD can handle, uh about anything as long as they're organized enough you know There's, aside from like a, a fight night is how most how most days go yep it's just like this but we're on patrol hit or miss you can cut up and have some fun with people when the you know when duty calls you jump in and go most people are going to post up because if you notice yet again, we got to go get some more gas. Gas is fucking expensive. It costs like $180 to fill up from nothing. And that adds up over time. And sounds about right. Gas prices have been crazy. Yeah. Let's go fill up and we'll stop at PDI and make sure everybody with a helmet on is doing fine. Hey, whoa, 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 local. What the fuck? I had a local spin a 180 and hit me head on. Just for fun or like, right? Yeah, just for fun. They decided to make a gigantic U turn and just run directly into the front of me. Cheers, you're going back to me. We'll go back. And for status of uh, ace. Still Currently out. still resting. Yeah, we'll take a left around this dump truck here. Is it illegal? Yeah. Is anyone going to get on to me for it? I don't give a shit. I'll pay the ticket. I'm not trying to get in the way of a dump truck. But surprisingly, I've, I've never had a ticket. I say that, and there's a cop right here. They're going to give me a ticket. <laughs> All right. Let's get it gassed up. You hungry, thirsty? Uh, I got I got plenty from before over at the fight nights. Perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna put some of these kits in the uh, glove box. Oh, did you need one of them uh in that jerry cans? Uh, yeah. Do you have one on you? No, I I don't. I just remember you talking about needing that to fill up the starter. All right, let me get some cash real fast. You can buy them at the gas station.
I play video games to escape my real-life problems. Why is gas so high? Yeah, but it's fake gas for fake money. Not the same. Hey, Reggie, uh, if Gurney feels good enough to leave, do you want him to get on out, or do you want him to stick around for a moment? Um, if he feels good, uh, make sure Esme, uh, gives him a little bit of, uh, pain meds to go. Oh, hell, hold on, and I got, yeah, he's I, good to it's go. a heavy-ass jerry can, I gotta put some stuff up. Four. 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 I guess no one cared that he just beat that man half to death with a hammer. I, you know, I don't, I don't know. This is at a two. You're gonna pull this out when I, when I just see you down on it. How is Gurney not going to fucking jail? I mean, it's Gurney. I don't. I don't care what happens, but just like logically looking back at it, it's like, how is Gurney not going to jail? Got one in there. This isn't my bus. I, oh. I need to save this for my bus. None of a gun. Oh, it's okay. I don't even know if mine's pulled out. Mine might be the one that was all crazy. I didn't really pay attention when I put it up. I just kind of put it up. Yeah, it's all good. What up, Jen? Because that whenever I go on duty, I always make sure I have it anyway. So, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whenever I leave, I always make sure I have it. On my like final tour, I'll uh, I'll make sure everything's ready and good to go for the next person to pull it out. We're gonna go ahead and take a left here. If you go straight on Strawberry Avenue, it's gonna take you to a damn highway. And that's no good. I mean, he was in fight night. He just pulled out a weapon. Yeah, I can't believe Gurney beat that man like that. Well, I figured, like, he said no other things. He pulled out a dang hammer, damn near killed the dude. I just figured he'd be questioning or going to jail or something. Yeah. Someone would have called the cop and like, hey, y'all want to take this guy? He just almost killed somebody with a hammer, but I don't know. Yeah, I guess the event or the uh, the victim didn't want to press charges. Oh yeah, also gonna gas go price. Down, uh, we're gonna go down the burger shot side of town. Hey, what do we want to press charges? His jaw got broken no, off. I don't think I want to hire security for burger shot. I'm not gonna I used to work security. That was like one of my first jobs. And uh Yeah, I think the best form of security is uh Never having to draw your weapon. Probably going to be influence over anything. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm like, you got plenty of that. Well, I, yeah, I've never had to shoot anyone. Uh, or actually, I've never had to tase anyone except for the old, old, old chief of police, Bubba T. Law. It's literally the only time I've tased someone successfully. You don't tase the chief of police? Oh, I tased the shit out of him. Yeah. I heard him scream like a girl. I don't know if anybody else heard him scream like that. <laughs> yeah. He hit me once in the chest, and I didn't... I guess the contacts just weren't far enough apart. You know, I, I didn't realize until about a month or two later uh, that we never got those taser prongs out of each other, and uh, I had to go have them surgically removed. I, I don't know if he ever got those removed. <laughs> so, yeah. Sounds sound like a real wild one. Yeah, he's crazy. Yeah, it's the only time I've ever had to uh, tase somebody that wasn't possessed by a demon. Y'all got, you got aliens, demons, and ghosts. Oh, oh yeah, there's definitely de one of my buddies, uh, T Money. He was possessed, and I, I shot that motherfucker six times, five times. I'm sorry, with a taser, and he just kept walking money. at me, pointing with a real deep, evil voice. I hit him six times with a taser, and he didn't give a shit. Yeah, let's park the bus yeah, here. Hitting somebody with a taser and it almost kill a man? Uh, yeah, but it it didn't do shit to him, so it is what it is. Was dead from the infection. Oh, hey, what's going on? Um, you okay? Just 
No. Physically, are you okay? Physically, yes. Uh -oh. We're fucking close. I was just taking up on you. Mm -mm. Emotionally and mentally, no. Not okay. Um, physically, I'm fine. I'm glad you're okay physically. Dale Davenport, nice to meet you. I'm new on duty. Really surprised I didn't get shot, too. Jasper Ruiz. Well, I'm really glad you didn't get shot, too. That would have sucked. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking Vega on his other character. Face is okay. Uh, sound, probably this sounded good. I'm not going to lie. It sounded good. Okay. Really but bright in here. I mean, we had Reggie on it. The only brain surgeon in the city, and he seemed to make quick work of it, so. All right. All right, y'all. I'm just stopping by for a wellness check, making sure everyone's okay. No burns or anything from making burgers? Nothing like that? No, I was just doing prep work. That's why I didn't hear them. All right. When I go off duty, I'll get back to chopping some more stuff, too. So. I told her she did the right thing. Yeah. You know, yeah, definitely. Don't, don't get yourself involved like that. Even though you work here, there's no need for you to defend <laughs> the spot like that. Yeah, definitely not. Um, can I ask you something? Which, who? We? Yeah, Me? you. Yeah. Yeah. Who else is Zeb? Uh, can I have a job here so I can fucking watch her? I mean, yeah, as as long as you don't, uh, you know, assassinate my ass for conflict of interest. Why would I? I said, we were just talking about security. Saw, Storm is security. Latina. Storm is so security. Shut up. First of all, I asked first. Just, you shut up. No, they just want a second. Okay. Yeah, that's that's anyway. fine. I don't mind it. It's just to help. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that real fast. Give me one second. See, this is what I was talking about, Dale. You, when you got some downtime, you can just take care of affairs, you know? We're always on duty anyway, so. Yeah, we were talking about him running Burger Shot a little bit. All right, let me whip this out. Give me a second. That's Sammy and... Mm -hmm. Who's with her? Probably Gurney. Oh, yeah. The door's unlocked, so... Tell that tow guy to get lost. Yeah, I told him we're fucking right. closed. So it was you and uh, Jasper? Gurney got a haircut. Or no. Here you go. Sure. Okay. Hello. Hey, Gurney. Hi, Gurney. Hi, everybody. All right. Got y'all squared away. Thank you. Gurney almost killed a man. <sighs> what a fucking day. Yeah. Can't even have an hour. There was just some guy just got shot at that liquor store right up the road too. Yeah, we we responded to that one too. Did he make it? Um, I'm I'm pretty sure. I think. I mean, we went right back ten eight because it was, was like he back Russian? to back. Russian. He had a. There was another guy who had an a, an accent. Oh, he, he oh. didn't talk no much. He was one fourteen bullet wounds in it. Yeah, he had about what fourteen in him. So. He, he didn't talk too much. Can't hear no accent out of him. All right. Well, there was a guy. Do you not understand him? What's wrong with you? His other character didn't understand me either. I like this. I like he's played into this. Fine. Damn. Yeah, I'll, I'll speak, speak up in a bit, English. Though. Okay. Well, I I'm gonna assume, uh, he got through. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I saw him. Radio check. Do. All right, cool. Uh, Man, you had zero a big one, day. Holy 10, shit! Have good night, oh, yeah. everybody. Have a good night for service. Sleep well. Work. Yeah, it's been it's been Great pretty wild. Good training day. Uh, amazing work, Davenport. Yeah, you're doing first right. day on the job. Been breaking it in here. Yeah, yeah how you feeling? Feel like uh, you're, you actually you're, you're responded good, very well good fit. Rush. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm liking it. Been pretty busy fight night and everything, all the gunshots and all that. But yeah, I feel like it's what I want to do. Ten nine. Glad that you found something you wanted to do. All of you did, did phenomenally. Thank you. Exactly. Good job, everybody. Yep. I, I did, wasn't there for it, but I appreciate it. But thank good job, everybody. Good job, everybody. Right. Thanks for coming and checking, Seb. Yeah, definitely. I'm yeah, going to keep we're... training uh, Dale here. Doing my best to push the boo hat. Yeah, no, I, I respect it. Hit our ambulance into the middle of the road. 
I've been doing a bad job with yeah, Boomer. Be careful about the locals. Look at that. I'm good now. I'm done. It, it's mostly on me for doing a bad job with Boom House. Sometimes the locals will smash your shit from here into the middle of the road. I'm gonna run. The reason I didn't Boom House is because first I was going through orientation and I didn't want that to be a nightmare. And then I was waiting until we got in calls where I wasn't just in calls with Zeb. Yeah, we're good to go. But I, I haven't boom Howard much since. Yeah. I mean, hell, this was like the perfect first day of training. I feel like I done damn near did it all. Yeah, literally everything except for uh, huh, except for a burn. But even little, then, that's intuitive. Little cream, little bandage. Yep, little cream, little bandage. That's literally it. I goddamn get her done. If they were ejected from an exploding vehicle, you know, cream bandage, sea collar, backboard, and just get them going. You may as well just grab. It don't even matter. If you see a vehicle involved, just pull that shit out when you run it up to the scene. I mean, just any and every vehicle is just backboard and seat collar. Uh, yeah, that's how I see it. Number three is going to go 1042 for night. Y'all have a good night. There it is. Thank you very much. Well. And good night now. What's 1019 mean? Well, 1019 gonna be on our way back to the old pillbox. That's perfect. What's, Did uh, well, I'm gonna hit you with the curveball. What's 23? Good heaven. Uh, we showed up. Oh my god, we, we, we got where scene, we were going. Yeah. yeah, you're on scene. You'll never use that. You just need to hear that. All right. Just in case. I'm trying to repeat that Dale kind of knows his stuff. In reality, I have a cheat sheet of now. I have a cheat sheet of all the ten codes. They don't. Up. They don't follow the the four way stop rule. They still. They, they, their minds just don't work like that. Hanging out at the red building. Yep. That red light talk, whatever it is. They went live not long after I did. We both been up about five five and a half hours now. Mm, do I fuck up my whole diet and make a pizza tonight, chat? A lot of weasel news vans around, but I don't see much weasel news action, you know? I thought that it could use a little bit more news. Yeah, I think so. I want a Dick Smalls to be a news oh, guy so big bad. Big-ass dump truck. They don't play. They just sit there and wait all day. Yeah, when it comes to stuff like, uh, you know, arriving on scene for gunshot victims and whatnot, you know, a lot of times you can treat, if, the, if they just got shot in the vest or something like that and just got some, some minor bruising, you could treat it with a cold pack and a bandage. Uh, both officers and not officers. Yeah, sure. I mean, like, you can get really shitty body armor from the Benko. Body armor nonetheless, so. And that's just... Pearson... You know. We just think about three one one when we're when we're staged, right? Yeah, just just yeah, just type it right there on the dashboard into the GPS slash three one one. EMS is staged. That's yeah, understood. Or, again, if you're alone and you're on PD radio, you could just let them know. You know, EMS to dispatch. EMS is staged. If you're uh, you're working the wee hours, very easy stuff. Yeah, I want to drive. I don't want to be able to go where the hell we're going. solo. I like palling around with Zeb, but I want to know the, like, the freedom that I can log in whenever I want. See? Look at that. That's what they get. They get the light show. Whoa. What? Why'd you hit him with that? Oh, he's Yeah, got it. Yep. Oh, you see some fast-ass interceptors, too. The PD's got some badass cars now. I got a whole damn chase going through there. Oh, they're coming this way. Mm -hmm. We're going to probably get out the way. Yeah. Fuck that light pole. There it is. Yeah, there's a whole ass chase. They got a Dodge Challenger Demon now for pursuit. Oh, God damn. They got a Mustang. They got a Coquette. Seen all three of them hauling ass. 
That demon's those, fast as shit. Those blue lights do so much for the my city. My challenger's off-road. It's not an on-road. There it is. I want to get my shaders back up. I'm just flying on our damn play. Yep. This, this trooper's missing a headlight and shit. All right, pull off repairs or something. No, nah, he's good to go. Again, notice we hit that damn light pole. We're fine. <laughs> Our vehicle not even gonna scratch. Oh shit! Here, you know what? Actually, let's go around real fast. I'm going to whip the boo boo us. We're going to see if everyone's okay here. We'd like a wellness check in the area since we got time. Kind of waiting right on here. them to get in a car accident over there. <laughs> All right. I'm going to keep it locked. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Summon a Joey Vic. I'm thinking five in a circle. I don't know. Is everyone doing well? We're doing well in this checks. We're just cruising around. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, Dill Davenport, nice to meet y'all. Like, I, I, I just, because, like, Pillbox is kind of hitting that point where we kind of need funds. What? Shit. Uh, yeah, Rowan's talking about the budget being. Oh, shit. No. No, it's because, like, you know, um, okay, so right now we're so oh, my Lord, Mary's down at the shop. Oh, wow. Okay, so, like, you know, I don't want it to hit below that one million mark, because that, uh, court thing is still over our heads right now. Regarding no, you ain't got deal. trust. We, we will swear. There are five barred lawyers working with Pillbox. They ain't winning shit. Okay. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I promise right. you. But, like, I wanted to set something up with Joey Vic, like, you know, for as long as he's in turn, maybe at least a certain date every month, Pillbox would get, like, a, like, not, like, a big check, like, you gave us, thankfully. Yeah. Like, just you hit know, him up. Like, just, like, a small, like, here's a little, a little refill, you know? Who's our representative? Uh, Amy, but I haven't seen Amy in a few months. So we need a new one, then. Have them do that. That's been in the talks, but I don't know how long. Someone talks. get it so I can get the key. Um, if you don't know how long, it's probably been long enough, right? Because that would be the person to, to, to pretty much ask for it. Uh, or the Secretary of Health. Offices. But yeah. Is everyone good here? Everyone's feeling okay? Yes. What happened to you? Why are you all, why are you all limpy? What happened? <clears throat> Need a bandage? Hey. The fuck? What happened? What? No. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, I was deeply in thought. What's up, Zeb? Why are you wobbling? What's going on? Oh, um, it's um, my twin ran me over. Huh. You okay? Yeah. You right. put a splint on it or anything? Nah, they uh. I had three broken ribs. They uh, they put a compression bandage on me and gave me some meds. All right, good. Just making sure you're squared away. Yeah. Good yeah. Lord. The whole damn yeah, force out there. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so so in Rowan's eyes, he was turning into the street, but in my eyes, he came barreling at me. Like there you go. At top speed. What the fuck? Yeah. No, the head. Oh wait, what? All right. Tow well, truck calling a cable truck. You got your hair then. We were just checking up, making sure everyone's okay. Take it easy, guys. Yep. Uh, Have a good night now. Yes. Yeah. Report. And, and, and um, have you showed him how to do how to fish in the the the, the, the porthole yet? Not yet. I, I figure once I get him behind the wheel, we'll do that. Also, what the fuck is an FTO report? I've never done that. Uh, it's I've a just report. been training them. <laughs> okay, well, it's a report. Basically, you, you can talk to Miss Guy about it. It's a form you gotta fill out, you know, explaining what you guys covered, your thoughts, your feelings, you know. Same thing what PD does with their F, um their FTOs. Oh, all right, cool, perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said literally also, a full day of training, so everything but a burn victim at this point. A very full day. Nice. Yeah. 
Nice, nice, nice. Hopefully you don't have like my first day where I had like five burn victims, three gas station incidents, and two code blacks. That was fun! God Let damn. me tell you that. Okay, but like, Good Lord. you haven't gone fishing yet, have you? No, not yet. I'm gonna put it behind the wheel. We're gonna make him go fishing. No, 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 no. Pillbox fishing. Yeah, yeah, underneath, Tun you know. Yeah, tunnel fishing. Yep. Oh. I'm gonna make him do that first. First thing behind the wheel. Okay. Wait, well, because we're the, we're the only on duty uh, patrol right now, from what I understand. Really? Really? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, no, actually, you know what? Echo zero six, I think, is on is on duty. Uh, I just don't know if they're patrolling. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, well, I'm monitoring shit. So if you need help, let me know. I'll get on. Duty. All right. Okay. Bye. Yep. Very good. What up, MF Kami? You no, know, when I was getting trained, the person training me, they actually passed on. They were, uh, my name was Bo. They, uh, parked right by a fire hydrant when we were. Like I knew Bo. We responded to a call. And I opened the door and the damn fire hydrant was just gushing water and it launched me into the fucking air. Oh, hell. It was great. I landed. I was okay. Everything was good. But damn, it hurt when I got hit by that water. I think the, the water or the lane that hurt you more, you think? The water. The water. It was trying to... Oh, my God. It was trying to blast me up. It launched me like 10 feet in the air. I landed in, on some soft grass, and I guess it was great, but... Ow. And uh, fire hydrants don't play around in water pressure. No, they don't. So, Dave, how are you feeling about your first day so far? Anything that's unclear? Any sort of protocol? I mean... No, I, I, don't, I don't think anything be coming up till I... You know, I see him if I run into him, but for right now, I, I, I got a good handle on all it. There we go. And they are still just haul assing after this person. You're running out of damn gasoline eventually. Well, they just, they have to, they have to shift it around. Oh, shit. Oh, is that right up ahead? Oh, shit, the GPS is there. Yeah, it's right up ahead. Just need to keep going. Uh oh. Kind of dang. Look like a bank robbery going on back there. Yeah, that's what it looks like. They're parked out in front. No one parks with the back of the car facing the fucking doors unless they're making a large withdrawal, if you know what I mean. Well, wait, who won? Well, I mean, I hope it doesn't go south. Oh, fucking Eve won! Right here. I was yeah, that there, uh, Evie won the damn tournament. We had to leave early. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we can go for her. Yep, she's an ass whooper. Right, every time Ryback's trended for the last five years, it's been because he's a moron. I'm glad Evie won. That's badass. She was, she was the first, she was in the first match and the first one we treated. Yeah, whenever you hear sirens, you always want to make sure you can... You look at your GPS. That way, if you're about to turn on an intersection, you don't get T-boned by a cop doing 130. All right. When are you feeling like 42 and you good to go? Are we calling it? Yeah. Uh, it's up to you. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of tired, but I can... Depends on how much how busy the city's going to be for next bit. Uh, I mean, that's... Oh, that's the... That's no. the thing with EMS. You never, never know. know. You what, never know. What, what about you? What are you, how are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling. Let's do one more tour. I'm, I can do that. And uh, and then we'll call it afterward. I I guess I gotta write this report up. I've never done this shit before. I've just been training them, teaching them. You know. Yeah. And then I relayed to the uh, the team. Hey, this I feel like this person's ready when they're ready. You know. How many of them? How many of them are able to give me these ride-alongs? There. Any paramedic can. Um, which uh, we usually have plenty of paramedics on duty. I mean, you got you got we talked to Rowan, we got Miss Sky, we got Lars, we got Will, we got uh, Jen, we got a lot of paramedics right now. Gotcha, gotcha. So it's perfect. That is ideal. We have an abundance of paramedics, and then people who want to be doctors can be doctors, but they aren't needed I'm because there's joy. Way better with ride-alongs too, because uh, otherwise you're just doing all this but alone. 
And that's just boring. Hearing yourself talk. Unless it's popping off, then it's fun. But the only downside of being on patrol is you, you don't have access to Angel 1 as fast as if you were at Pillbox, so. For scenes that require it, that's why, you know, if you stay in the city, you can get back to Pillbox fast enough to go pull out Angel 1. Can't imagine you wouldn't need that for much else other than, like, mountains and stuff like that, yeah, right? You really, you really don't need it for anything other than mountains. It's like, who goes down in the mountains? I guess we have hunting in the server now. Mountains and up in Polito. You know, anything north of uh, Harmony, I think, is good. Vince's Harmony mom just Sandy died. Shores, we can get there pretty fast. How? You know, you figure you hit it like 110, 120 on the freeway in these things. Now, when you're coming back, you're probably not going to be doing that. Because, you know, you got to maintain patient security. So, if it's on the freeway, I'd say I uh, probably want to hit 100 max. Are we Just gonna be locals are crazy and they'll they'll try to get you at the last second. Am know? I ever gonna be a pigeon again? I mean, I don't plan on if it. If you but... ever going down this road, uh, eclipse, never... Vinewood, you know this road right here turns into eclipse. If you're ever hauling ass down this road, be careful because you will pick up speed fast as shit. With the weight of this thing, you could hit upwards of 135, 140. Yeah, just so, straight shot of the downhills. It's the straight shot, like direction we're going. Yes. Once you crest it about right here and you start headed down this side, you will you will get going down this road. But it's beneficial if you know how to drive. Like just acceleration wise, you already pick up super fast. And a sign falls down in front of you sometimes. Yeah, there are times if I'm just trying to sit down and do math for real estate or something like that, I'll park in this parking lot right here. I whip the bus around. And just get ready for it. Just like that. Don't wait for the call. Yep, just wait for the call. Almost nobody's using this parking lot anyway. Or I'll do across the street right there. You see how there's like a walkthrough right there? I'll just park that way facing the road. It's rare that I do that though, because I'm usually talking to people and doing wellness checks. I'm vocal. I don't want to sit down and, and not do anything for too long, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of the reason I took the training job. And again, everything's much better and smoother with partners. Like if there's a, a patient that they're critical and unconscious and we need to stabilize them, we'll throw them in the back. And like, let's say you were driving, I could get in the back and make sure they're stable. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because you're not going to transport a patient in your passenger seat anyway. So even if you're alone, ain't no one going up there. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. I don't know if he's trying to shake me to be done for the night or if he's trying to shake me because he wants he has some other stuff he's trying to work on. And as you do it more and more, it's just gonna get easier and easier. And I you shake me like Especially loosely. driving around. You can uh you can set your cruise control right there on the dash if you just type in on the dash slash SSL. And then uh the caps right there on the dash. So you hit your caps and it'll set it and remove it. So that way you only go like forty five or fifty or whatever you want. You just gotta remember to turn it off when you respond to the calls. If I do it right here, if I'm just. I decided to set it. We won't go over 45 now. Okay. I need to cruise around. Oh, there it is. Are we watching bubble vlogs after this? Hell yeah. Then you just move that caps uh, on the dash and you're fine. Hit that same button again. Flip the switch, you're good to go. I usually don't though, just because I'm I'm pretty good about my driving speed. If I need to double clutch to, to haul ass uphill, uh, cause out of nowhere, you know, a call pops on, uh, it's that's what it is. I'll do that. Double clutch, he holds back, then he hand brakes, then he goes forward again, and it just speeds up the process, I guess.
It's also really good if you're off-road. If you don't ever want to hit over 45 going around turns and bends and shit, it's good for you. How do these things do when they, they got to go down the like, back roads? Uh, back roads are fine. Slim roads are fine. I'm going to tell you this. Uh, there will literally never be a time where you need to pull this into a back alley. If there's a back alley and people have been hurt or incapacitated, leave the damn leave the ambulance out of the back alley like over here this is one thing because this is wide but if it's too tight to get down like right over there you know where there's uh that grass is to our right i would leave this park like right here i would gotcha. never i would never take it down this back alley to get people like this or anything like that not doing that no reason to because you can transport them here and then you just clear to go Even Zeb has been a character since. to fit back there, you ain't gonna be able to turn around unless you back in. So Zeb has been a character, been around since almost the very beginning, yeah. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, Zeb is an OG, still thriving. Man's got his pilot's license, ran real estate, ran the casino, the paramedic now, like, was the mayor. Is it 11? Yeah, I'd probably be ready. Probably be ready 10:42. PP boy security. Hey, look at that! We got hey. three one one. Done, done woke up. Perfect. Can't tell nobody about that though. You know, that's kind of like private knowledge. Oh yeah. That's yeah. why I was kind of vague telling them that it, that you know Mendoza had been operated on HIPAA and all that shit. I just let him know out the prospect was good. Can we talk about how that guy got done got shot twelve times with that bed? Uh no, nah, ain't nobody know who that is, I don't think. I mean, yeah, it's one thing to talk about something, it's it's another if you specify the patient. Like we didn't know that patient's name, nothing like that. So uh yeah, as long as you're not specific, it ain't the end of the world. But if like you're in the lobby and someone's like, hey, how was so-and-so doing? I can't tell you that. Oh, yeah. I got the... I can't see it. What's going on? I'm trying to look, look like I got the dang helicopter out. Oh yeah, they're hauling ass after something. Someone. There was a goddamn deer that stole Joey Vick's car one time. The, the, the damn deer? Yeah, deer. They called him Von Deer. He was a fucking terrorist. Another Vega character. Tried to slam his car into the entryway of the casino and put Joey Vick in a fucking ribcage brace. And then he destroyed everything in front of Casa over here. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was something. He ended up being a pretty, uh, ironically cruel fate. I chased him off road one time and, uh, turns out a seatbelt designed for humans and cars turned him into fucking hamburger meat. He didn't make it. <laughs> Good God. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a rough accident. Put on a he human seatbelt. Fucking broke his stupid deer neck. <laughs> I'm pretty sure at the time Joey Vick was the city manager and he introduced hunting licenses specifically to kill that motherfucker. Turns out a seatbelt did the trick. We're close to go away. <laughs> They're still hauling ass. There's their one up there. Yeah, I feel like they've been chasing somebody 30 minutes. Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes it is like that. All right. We pretty much made full rotation. Yeah, I think I might be more tired than I thought anyway, so. Yeah, it's perfect. Straight shot up Elgin, and you'll, uh, you'll end up going to Pillbox. And then afterwards, I gotta go get my Challenger. I'm gonna have to cut. Damn, they over Pillbox now? What the hell? Shit, hold on. Can't roll up into Pillbox. Pillbox is I'm under gonna attack. Red light real fast. We ain't trying to get in no one's way. No, maybe not. Well, we'll, we'll still steer clear in the middle of the road. Oh, Gurney's going to sing it to Keelala. All right, Dale. Good first day. Oh, not now. 
Yeah, yeah, damn. Thank you for taking me around, showing me everything. It was damn good for a day. Yeah, I mean, shit. Like, I. This was uh, probably the best case scenario for training. I feel like I learned a lot and ready to be driving next time, hopefully. Oh, hell yeah. If you're with me, you're definitely driving. I gotta get this report topped up, so hey, I get everything. I, if I wanted, if I wanted to get in the back of an ambulance, how would I do that? I couldn't figure it out. Oh, just kind of walk up and uh, same way you get in front. You gotta make sure it's unlocked. It always wants to take me to the dang front seat. I'm just like compelled to go oh, that way. Oh, 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 gotcha. Hold on, get to the back of this one. I think you gotta be there first. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And there's gotta be a driver in here. Yeah, there's gotta be a driver. I mean, you can always, let me see, you can always try to slide through that back glass right there. Gotcha, you flex gotcha. that Y muscle and you just. Oh. oh, yeah. Here it is. Y is the fucking car menu. I need to remember that. Turns out there's just a door separating it. But you gotta make sure that, uh, turn it off if you're in the driver's seat. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. I'm gonna get this thing fueled up and get that report typed up. All right. You got anywhere you're trying to sleep? Uh, no, I'm just kind of trying to sleep this morning. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, the dressing room's comfy, so. Good for you. Hey. Appreciate everything today. Yeah, don't forget the 42 over radio. This is uh, E63 going 10:42 for day. Appreciate y'all. 10-4. Damn nurse joy. This is where we sleep. Oh shit. Okay, for a first day, that went about as well as it was going to. I don't see that going better. Um, the, like that, that, don't get me wrong, that's exciting. The more exciting part for that comes when, uh, comes when I'm comfortable enough to solo and I can do whatever I want in terms of EMS. Like, a, you know, that way I can just clock in. Six hours, bro. Six hours is light work, Tarek. You were, like, there for the beginning, at the, at the very least. Like, I don't know if you were on board, on board yet, but you were there in the beginning, at least. Fucking first couple weekends, I was actually putting in 10 to 12 a day with Bubba. Six hours is light ship. But for learning the whole time, I've never been on that end of it, I guess. That was, uh... Burger shot blast. I mean, some of the the fight night shit was good. It was all. Derek, what is the? I know I get this way too often. Um, actually, you know what? No, this is fine. If you guys want to see, there's actually gonna be more pillbox people over at uh, to uh, Tequila Laws. Tequila Law is throwing a party for pillbox. You're gonna see other pillbox people there. But Take She, who's a longtime viewer in here, uh, longtime sub in here, um, who. Put on Fight Night. Take She put on Fight Night tonight is live. So if y'all are cool with it, I'm going to raid Take She. You guys keep watching a little bit more GTRP while you're over there. Hanging out, doing all that. There we go. Okay. Uh, but yeah, appreciate you guys. I might be back with RP tomorrow. I might be back with something else tomorrow. I don't know. And then Tuesday. It's Saturday. Okay, Tuesday, we got a sponsored... We got a sponsor stream coming up. Anyways, go say hey to Takes You for me. They're throwing a party over at Tequila Las. Uh, y'all have a good night. As always, Thunder Shot, Peace Late. I'll catch you guys next time. And uh, y'all be easy.